Good morning, everybody. It's 11 o'clock. I'm on time this week. <laughs> How are you all? Excited? Yeah? So, right, okay. So I've got a lot to try and crack into this hour. Remember the next one-day special show uh, is at 12 o'clock now and not 1 o'clock. So I'm determined to try and get these two demos done uh, before that show. So I'm aiming to finish about 5 to 12 so you can just make a quick cup of tea and then get on to Ho Chandra and watch the live shows. I don't want you to miss Julia's demos because I know that they're fabulous. Uh, she's, she's a cracky little demonstrator. She's been practicing. <laughs> so I'm going to put my glasses on. So obviously you've seen or hopefully you've seen the launch of Trudy's uh, Fashion Easter collection. Uh, so proud of her. These are amazing stamps, absolutely gorgeous. It's true to Trudy's style as well. So fashion is where she won, where she came from. It's what she originally started to design. Um, so these stamps really are her own in her own style. So, but for somebody like me, and, and you're probably used to me putting loads of flowers on and things like that, uh, they're actually a welcome change. Uh, you know, for me to be coloring in 10 of the images that I absolutely love them. I wouldn't spend that much time morning everybody. I wouldn't spend that much time on them um, if I didn't, and I just couldn't stop. <laughs> so I've coloured them all in, which is why I'm hopefully going to try and get two done for you today. I'm going to do one of the ladies and one of the guys. So I'm going to start by showing you the stamps. I know you've probably already seen them, and I know Julia has shown you, but I'm going to show you myself as well. And as I show you the stamps, I'm going to let me move that because that's just showing you a little. That's what we're going to start with. Um, I'm, I'm going to actually 25 centimeters by 14 and a half so it's, it's a bit of a joke with me and julia my, my toppers are actually as big as cars if not bigger morning everybody so we're going to start with the boys because that's always the best place to start <laughs> no comments so when trudy spoke to me about this about this range um she was she was desperate to do it and i really wanted her to do something that was that was true to her uh and and she's done a she's done a cracking job I'm, I'm so pleased with how they've turned out so we've worked together some of the sentiments i've done morning true day um and, and we've worked together on this and it really is an amazing set of stamps you know yourself when you're crafting you always think oh crikey what am i going to do for my nephew or my grandson or, or my uncle and this is why we've made sure that trudy's done some girls and she's done some boys so we're starting with the boys this one you'll notice as well that she's got this lovely duck egg blue for the boys which i think is a fabulous idea so we'll start with trendsetter i've kept mine in the packets i'm just going to take them out while i show you because they are actually much 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 bigger and get a better card to show you than they are on the packet so every one of these stamp sets features a full size um image stamp and then we've packed them full with different sentiments. And rather than putting happy birthday, best wishes and all that, we've gone for kind of fashion style sentiments, really trendy, really fashionable. You know that you're gonna be able to use these with all my happy birthdays and everything that I've done before. Um, all the boys are as, as well, all the boys are half a centimeter, to, which I know is a bit, a bit cheeky because I'm hardly six foot two, but all the boys are a little bit taller than the girls. So you can mix and match and use them together as well. So you've got this uh, trendy dude here. Uh, you've got all the sentiments filled in there. Uh, amazing stamp. And this is the top of the I topper. <laughs> this is the top of the I did. So when I've used, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've used pencils on these, uh, and you'll find out why next year. I'm testing, 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 testing. But I'll tell you more about that near the time. So this was me testing the, one of the new things for next year um but obviously i couldn't stop we are going to be using the watercolor brush pens for this because i want you to see how easy these are to color in with the, the pens that you've already bought so dead easy to do you can see i've chopped up the urban style the sentiments just mix and match so so well and i've done the i've done the transetter in shades of green so i'm going to pop these to one side as i go i'm going to be quick 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 uh love this one absolutely love this one this is man about town I don't know why I didn't take them all out of the packets before. That's that's me. Yeah. Everybody knows somebody who this is going to be perfect for. It's, it's I would love this. It, oh, Rufus is barking in the background. Come on, then. Come on up. Um, 
perfect. Again, every one of the images is different, every one of the sentiments is different, but you know already looking at this that some of the trendsetter sentiments are going to work with this one and vice versa. So I'm going to crack on. Can you hear him, Bob? Can you hear him? <laughs> it's because he can hear me talking and he's downstairs on his own. Uh, and I love this one. I think of the boys, this is my favourite because I just think it's so stylish, really, really trendy. So this is sharp dressed man. Oops, let me just tip that up. It is oh, it's just it's so grown up. So you've got a grown up one here. Uh, remember as well when you've got more time with these. I mean, we have had a little bit longer to play with these, and me myself particularly, but you can actually cut these out and start decoupaging them. So you can cut the jacket out and start shaping them and giving them some dimension. Love the sentiments that come with this. So style it out, express yourself, city chic, style comes from within, blah, blah, blah. It's just so many different ways you can use these. You might hear Rufus coming up in a minute. And now on to the girls. Now don't ask me to choose a favourite because I absolutely can't. It's a really clever way that Trudy has designed these because you've got grown-ups, you've got teenagers. I'm just move this lamp. Is that a bit better? Oh, oh, oh. There you go. I, I think that this is one of my favourites. This is Dreamy Elegance because you can use it for so many different things. It's a beautiful, beautiful stamp. What I really love about these is the sketchy style in which they're done. So you know if you're not a confident colourer, uh, you don't have to be it really doesn't matter the, the very fact that they're designed like this makes it easier for you to color them in but just look at that that's just so beautiful we are going to be doing dreamy elegance in the demo as well that's dreamy elegance and then you've got her which is pyt pretty young thing you can see i've had fun with these and i think that's the whole point we forget don't we sometimes that we're supposed to be having a, a laugh enjoying the crafting but I mean, just look at that. That is just an amazing, amazing image. I wish I could draw as good as this. I'm, I'm, I've got, I've got drawing envy. <laughs> so I've done her in, in pinks and what have you. Again, lots of different sentiments. I'm going to whiz through these now. This is another one of my favourites because I can see how this is going to work with so many people that I know. So this is fashionista baby, and you can see she's she's more grown up. So she's now. She's like now my sister, my auntie, that kind of thing. But the, just the style and the flow of this stamp is just gorgeous. I love this one. If you if you only go for one stamp, one lady stamp, this is the one I reckon you should get because it's going to work for more people. And we're quickly getting through, quickly getting through. This one is fashion victim, and again, can you see I've had fun with these with these toppers. <laughs> So fashion victim again brings you to a younger a younger audience. Um, loved colouring her in. Obviously, if you I've done pink and blue, you can colour these any kind of colours you want. I'm going to win. Sorry, everybody. And the next one is boho chic, which is absolutely stunning, 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 stunning. They, they're just amazing stamps. Yeah. So boho chic. I'm moving them all to one side and you know when I start demoing I'm going to have no room on my side and then we come to the bride and groom so I love these absolutely love these I'm going to put them both together because I want you to see how fab they are together and how fab they are as separates so I'm going to see, hopefully you can get everything in on this screen so I've made these as separate images yeah just because I wanted to do something with all of the all of the stamps there we go look but how absolutely stunning are they yeah it's just so so easy to do and I love the fact that trudy's done them separately so we can have we can have two guys we can have two girls you can have three if you want if you want to be greedy <laughs> uh, and then when again when you start when you start masking these and putting them together closer together you've got so many different ways you can use these so let's crack on i've waffled for long enough that was actually quite quick for me i've got to say so we're gonna we're gonna do um, dreamy elegance first. I think I've changed my mind. So let me find the dreamy elegance stamp that I told you I'd be looking for. Because I've just been chucking everything over on the side, and I've got all my bits here for two cards. Here we go. So on the on the sample, I'm just gonna bring the lamp back over. So on the samples that I've just shown you, um, I used uh, one of the grey Versafines. We're actually going to stamp with black this time. 
So I'm going to stamp her uh, just in black, and then we're going to start from the other way up. Just remember these are big stamps, so when you take them off for the first time, just be careful. I don't want you to tear them. He says. Now I'm popping mine on my perfect for my DL blocks. Look, yeah, perfect for the DL blocks. If you've got a stamping platform, which I know Julia uses. Hang on. <coughs> I knew that were coming. Uh, if you use a stamping platform, you're good to go, aren't you? So let's get this started. So first of all, onyx black because I'm going to be watercolouring. I'm not using any embossing powders this week. I want to show you how easy it is to get to get good results from these stamps and how quick it is. You know when you need it, these, these are relatively quick cards for me. Look at that. I've got ink on the block. Let's make sure I don't transfer that. So I'm not going to the bottom. I'm coming a little bit up from the bottom. And I'm just going to press. Here we go. And hopefully I've caught all the bits. We'll soon find out. Remember, I'm going to give these away. So there will be two. There will be two uh, two toppers done by the time I've finished. So it will be two people this week. So again, from the from the comments tomorrow, about lunchtime, if I remember, probably Sunday. Knowing me, look at this lot. Probably Sunday. I will choose two names randomly, and you will get them. So I've just stamped the image. As you know, with VersaFine, they take a little bit longer to dry. So I'm just going to pop that to one side, and we're going to actually start with the background. I'm using my Almond Hue uh, Premium Cardstock, by the way. It's not watercolour card, but it does actually work really well with watercolouring, as long as you don't get it saturated. Um, hang on, I'm just scroll down. There's loads, loads and loads of comments. As long as you don't get it saturated, uh, it will be absolutely fine. You, I have what, Julia? Have I transferred the ink? No, I haven't. That's perfect. Is that what you mean? Are you being cheeky when I can't see you? <laughs> so we're going to start with the backgrounds. So first time Trudy has done backgrounds in rubber, and I'm just going to take a second to show you, because you know when you watch on TV, I watch the shows, you can't actually see all the detail that you get in them. And these are amazing. I've used every one of them loads already. So what you've got here is the wonderful weave. You know the Indigo Blue made these for me, so they're already uh, foam mounted and cut so you can work straight away. Got the wonderful weave, which again, you know, is going to work with everything. Look at this lace. Look at that lace work. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I think we'll use this one. We'll use the lace work. And then you've got the wool in it, which I think is my favourite because you know you're going to be able to use that for lots of different projects as well. Yeah. Morning, everybody. I'm rattling a lot, which is probably why my throat's dry. I should have made a drink before I started. Uh, don't forget the sentiment this week. I won't, darling. And I did I did put it on before I posted the card for, for uh, Trina that won it. So we're going to do the background first. Because right, I'm going to colour her the original image. Let me find it and show you again. If I can find her. So the original image, look, I coloured in with um, greens and, and like, Oh, red air, yeah, love red air and green together. It just looks so, so classy. So this time we're going to do a blonde and we're going to do it in pink, just so we can be different. So starting with the background, the backgrounds are really, really simple to do. And I'm going to show you this first because then it'll give that chance to dry. Um, it'll give that chance to dry while we start colouring in. So I'm going to squirt a little bit of, I'm going to put a bit of ink on my mat, all will become clear. So just a little bit. I'm going to square a little bit of water on it just once and then we're going to do the whole round the edges we don't need to go all the way over because we know it's going to be it's going to be covered up so i'm doing this by hand which is something that i don't do all that often unless i'm doing backgrounds because our backgrounds don't matter so much as long as it looks pretty and the end result looks fabulous that's all i really care about and just see if julia replied to me just have a look I quite like this. I'm, I'm, I'm glad the backgrounds are fab. They are. Right, so I'm going to stamp with the... This is uh, picked raspberry, picked raspberry distress oxide. And I'm not worrying about it being too neat. All I am going to worry about is trying to get it straight. <laughs> now, on the sample, you probably won't notice, but they do start to go off a little bit. Uh, but it, it doesn't matter so much. I've lost an eyelash. So I've got some ink on here, and because I want this watery rather than solid, 
this is why i put that there so if i had just put water there it would have diluted it too much i still want a bit of strong color so i'm just going to roll that in there you can see that it's now diluted it a little bit i'm just going to roll on and i'm going to have to speed up because i am determined to get two demos done so i'm just doing that bit on the edge oh now it's easy to get wrong Can you see can you see how detailed that is I'll, I'll bring it closer in a minute so i'm not worrying about it being perfect i'm just worrying about getting the pattern on and you seeing some of the pattern if it's done which it is doing just do another squirt of water so all the water does it look at that that's gorgeous so it's already done the watering down for me and then I'm going to, so instead of doing this corner, a little tip for you, come back up to the beginning and go from the other side, leave that corner till last. And when I do the background on the sharp dressed man, which is the image I'm going to do second, I'm going to show you a different way of doing this. Oh, it's just so pretty. Rufus has stopped barking, I think he's given up on me. Just get that corner. Don't be cheeky, come on. I am talking to the card, by the way, not you a lot. So you see now, because I've come all this way around, now I can go right to the edge with this with this one, hopefully, he says. There we go. Look at that. Uh, 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 I'll put that to one side, and you know I'm going to have to clean my mess up in a minute. Look at that. That is just phenomenal. <laughs> the, the detail in that stamp is incredible. Absolutely amazing. So I'm going to put that to one side and let it dry. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm lying to you. Oh, yeah, well, I'm going to leave that one to dry. We'll do, we'll do the other one differently. I want you to see two or three different ways you can use, you can use these. Kitchen roll. You know, I can't work in a mess. Julie, when it gets to quarter to 12, text me. I've got my phone at the side. <laughs> so now we're going to bring the pens in and start colouring the image just while the background there is drying. So remember, uh, I have answered a few people who have asked me about set three. Set three will be about six, eight weeks, maybe a bit longer with the current situation, but I'm, I'm just going to tell you now set two is it's all but gone so if you've missed out on set one and you haven't got set two yet you really need to be getting set two before they've gone as well i will be replacing them as we go along but it won't be till like the end of the year maybe next year so we're going to choose because we've got a couple of bright pinks in here so we're going to choose that pink and we're going to have some purple and for the skin we're going to have that yellow Oh, oh come on and that rusty color so trust me all will become clear so these are probably the only four that i need to use for this yeah i'm running out of space i need a bigger desk i'll show you how big the desk is one day <laughs> so we're going to we'll start with the dress now there's a couple of different ways you can use these pens to color bigger areas um i'm going to show you two different ways so i'll do this one direct first so we're going to go in direct with the pink so i'm going to do the i'm going to do the dress in pink and the band and the i don't even know what you call them that tablecloth <laughs> what do you call them <laughs> i'm sure it's not a tablecloth but you know what i mean so what i'm going to do trudy is very cleverly look put some lines in already where we, where we know shading is going to be Margaret, have you chased Rufus out? No, he never came up. He just sat at the bottom of the stairs barking at me. So I'm just going to go in direct with some colour. So you you know that it's going to be darker around the outsides uh, and where Trudy's put the lines in for you. It, and and I, I watched one of Julia's demos and like she said, really, it doesn't matter 
you can't really color these in wrong um because it, it they're, they're so open to interpretation it doesn't matter just make that a little bit stronger around the edge i'm going to do the same there so i'm going direct in with the pen and we always forget actually that you can you can actually just color direct with the pen um it's obviously a stronger a stronger look so we will get a much more washed out version now all right here we go let's just get some water on here so what i'm going to do is pull the color out now so effectively what i'm doing is i'm just using the ink that's already there i'm going over it and filling in the space this is the beauty about these pens i don't need to worry about this toning and blending because the ink in the pens is going to do that for me it is quite handy to have a brush that's, that's wetter than it should be as well i'm just going to squeeze squeeze a bit more water out yeah but when you're doing larger areas so let's just get that colored in i'm just going over absolutely everything i'm sorry i'll go quiet while i'm coloring in so literally literally you've just watched me do that all i've done is put a little bit of color on and dragged it out with the water brush remember uh treat yourself if you can to the extra water brushes because the extra water brushes have got the flat tip in and the flat tip is amazing when you're doing larger areas so i'm just going to show you that look just after one that's just after one just one little bit of color and then just bringing it out with the water yeah so now we can go in while that's still a little bit wet because i like a stronger color um if you like pale pale and interesting absolutely keep it that way but i like mine a bit stronger so i'm going back in exactly where i've been already And then when I go over it a second time, what we'll end up with is stronger shading. There we go. So I'm just popping that in there. And then we'll do the same thing again. A little tip for you. If you want to, in fact, I'll do it. Instead of using just water this time, we'll use some colour. So you've not reminded me, have you? I told you to remind me to use the other blending mat so you could see the colour on the mat. It doesn't matter. So instead of going in with water, this time we're going to go in with a, with a watered down version of the same colour. And again, that makes the colour a little bit stronger. How easy is this to do? I am being quick because I want to get the other one done. It's just so easy i've got to say and i know it's i know it's blowing my own trumpet somewhat but these pens are amazing here we go so i've just gone over everywhere again remember everybody to follow trudy on facebook as well because trudy's got some uh, images that she's coloured in with alcohol markers and they look completely different again oh look that's just so lovely right i'm gonna have to be a bit quicker now Oops. so i've added the shadows you can see where i've done the shading just by where i've left the extra the extra ink and that's that's putting the shadows in I'll show you that so look how strong the color is now compared to the first time yeah i don't know whether you can can you see i don't know my, my screen's not particularly good so hopefully you can see where the shading and everything is uh, around the boobs all down the side yeah so now we'll go on to the purple i can make that stronger and stronger still but i'll leave it at this for now so same thing again 
I'm going where True is giving us the guide, just a little bit extra on the outside because I know it'll be stronger there. A little bit stronger on the inside there. Don't worry about that bit there that's gone over the lines because I can water that out. Right, here we go. It's funny, you know, because you, you know, when I was colouring the girls and I was texting my sister going, what colour would you wear with this? Because I don't know. <laughs> um, just make sure she's dry. And then we'll do a little bit on the outside. On the band thing. And she's got a little bobbly thing in her hair. Bobbly thing. Did anybody tell me what them things were called? Morning, fella. Dream Milligan Slade would make good. Yeah, well, Judy actually look at true. Look at the ones Trudy's done. Trudy's actually done the dreamy elegance <laughs> in, in, in just in black, and she's used some of the onyx black uh, glitter alchemy to fill in the bottoms. It looks amazing. You're working on a desk, so you're working on a dining table. Now, this is my desk, my computer's right in front of me. It's a wrap or a shawl tablecloth. <laughs> there you go. I knew it was something like that. Uh, so again, I don't want this to be any stronger than it is because the purple is already quite strong. So I'm just going over and diluting with the water brush. A wrap or a shawl, that's a wrap. Look at these colours, they're just fab. I would spend a little bit longer on this, but I'm conscious that we've got another show on at 12 o'clock look at that already yeah it's just fab do the band first so by no skill of my own look look at the band the band is already actually showing you the the highlights and the lighter shades because the way the water blends the pen out It's a bit it's common sense really because as, as I'm using more water the colour gets the colour gets weaker. Oh I've gone too far, sorry Trudy. I'm glad I'm giving this one away. <laughs> good for proms, Julia said. It's a good idea. Because see I don't wear too many tablecloths because I thought that was part of it. There we go, and then we'll just do the band. The banner thing. Has she got, is that dress on her neck, Trudy? I think it is, so I better just do a bit of pink. Bear with me. Bear with me, I think that's part of the dress. Mm, I get lost with colouring in. There we go. Right, so let's just show you where we're at now, ignoring a bit where I went wrong. How beautiful is that? It's just so, so pretty. Right, so now we're going to get on to skin tones. Now, I must, oh no, we're not. We're going to do the hair. So the hair, we're going to use that yellow. Uh, uh, where are my pens? Here they are. So in your, in your set too, you've actually got You've actually got a couple of yellows. Look, I've got one out already. Then there's another one there, and then there's one that's like a, a greeny colour. So I'm going to go for the two yellows I've already got, and we're going to add a little bit of orange in just to make it a bit stronger. So as always, same principles apply. I'm going to go straight in with some yellow there. I know it'll be darker at the roots because that's what we're all like at the minute. <laughs> So I'm going to stop there. I'll just put it at the tip. And I'll blend that out, making sure I've got no pink on my brush. There we go. So just, just by one, that's just one colour. And all I'm doing is bleeding it out. You can see where it's, it's naturally, as it's as it's drying, as I'm moving the colour with the ink, it's actually leaving 
the shading for me not having to worry too much about that i'm going to ignore the middle yellow and i'm just going to go straight in with this orangey color she's a strawberry blonde by the way and a little tip for you doing hair just do a bit there it's quite nice to just dab so i've made that quite wet so i'm just dabbing this time you will have more time to spend on this than i have so particularly on hair on hair and skin i tend to dab a lot because what happens is as it dries it dries a little bit more mottled so it looks a little bit more natural there we go how about that how about that it's easy to do there we go right skin so i'm just going to tell you now in set three there are a couple of not i'm not they're not specifically skin tones but you will be able to use them for skin however i'm going to use a blend of these two yeah so this is really easy to do you just got to remember to blot off when it gets too strong which is what i'm going to do that this is this this is me this is me on holiday <laughs> <laughs> so really pale so i'm going in with the yellow quite watery look and i'm just going to put in a little bit of the rusty color i'm just get a bit of scrap to test on that's a little bit too yellow so let's make it a bit darker a little bit darker still that's perfect so I'm going on one side, I'm covering the whole areas of the skin, and I'm not gonna re I'm not gonna reapply any ink to this because it's getting it's getting more faded the further down the image I go, which is exactly what I wanted. I've missed a bit of hair as well. I'll go back to that. So can you see now she's got an almost like flesh like tone? So I'm just gonna go back in again where you would normally have some shadows i'm just going to tap a little bit so on the outer edges look remember don't be scared of these pens because the worst thing that can happen is you need to use a bit more water and dilute it oops that's a bit too yellow phil let's just block that off always have a bit of kitchen roll handy because i've made it a bit too yellow that's perfect and take the color off the ink pen and then just blend that out so all i've done is i've gone where i went with the shading I've just gone over it with plain water and I've added a little bit of, I don't know if you can see that on here. Yeah, a little bit of shading on, on the sides. So now it looks like she's got a shadow on her skin. Missed that bit of hair, so I'm just gonna fill that in. I told you, you lose me when I'm coloring, you're asking me to color in and I lose bits. Right, so she's she's done for now. We'll leave we'll leave her to one side uh, for now, yeah, and then we'll go on to the onto the man one. So this is not quite dry yet because I've used oxides, but it's getting there. So by the time we've coloured the sharp dressed man in, that will be ready as well. So what time am I on? Oh crikey, it's twenty five to. Uh, uh, uh. Squidge so above already started to colour him, uh, stamped him out. So pens, here we go. So going from pinks and purples, which I'm going to move out of the way. And we're going to have this, this is my favourite, favourite blue. Favourite, favourite blue. Uh, shall we do him in, shall we do blue and greens? 
There's the blue and the greens. Uh, that one, one. Set that one. And then we'll have Rufus. Come on. Come on, let me see you. Uh, and then we'll have a bit of a turquoise shirt going on. Come on, then. Let me see you. He's shouting again. Oh, crikey. Let me just scroll down. Ooh, hundreds of you. Maria's twitch of <laughs> uh thank you Jean. right so let's get cracking on him so on the original image you saw me put on the girl the dreamy elegance we put the color on and then um and then bled it out this time we're going to do it different i'll start with his trousers so i'm coloring with water and i'm going to be quite heavy with the water apologies if you see a little tint of yellow it's because i've not cleaned it properly You're going to have so much fun with these. So, so, so much fun. So now that is quite wet. And we're going in with my favourite, favourite, favourite blue. So I'm just dabbing. So kind of like I did with the, um, with the shading on the last one. I'm just dabbing. So because I've gone on top of water, can you see how pale that is? I'm just showing you how strong it is normally. So that's how strong that is normally. I'm just dabbing. So all I'm doing at this stage is adding the shading. Rufus! It's a dead professional setup here, you know. <laughs> Come on! Can you hear him? So I'm not I'm not putting any definition in this. I'm just letting the water do its thing. Yeah started to dry already there we go and now i'm going to scribble some oh. i'm going to scribble some of the blue on the side and now we're going to go over the whole thing i would normally leave this a little bit longer over halfway through thanks julia my little time check i would normally leave this a little bit longer to to dry but we've not got that much time so i'm going to do a watered down version now of this blue and i'm going to go over everything and already look already just just from going over it so the color that was there before is bleeding out but it's bleeding out and drying softer so it's actually leaving our shade in there for us really quick. So if ever you need to colour one in quickly, this is probably the way I would tell you to do it. And I'm just going to add a little bit more dark at the top. So this is what I would call a proper watery coloured image. I'm going to show you that before I move on so easy to do as well it's fab isn't it so don't be scared of these if you're not a confident colour don't be scared of them I'm actually going to use the ink that's left on there so rather than do a turquoise shirt we're going to do a turquoise tie and a pale blue and a pale blue shirt so you might not notice this much but it really is just a pale blue shirt Kind of like where I've gone. So even though it's still pale blue, we need a little bit of... Look how skinny he is as well. I wish you'd have drawn one like me, Trudy, a little bit rounder. <laughs> so from that one blue look, we've now created two different shades of blue and got his shirt to tone which is what you would expect from moi what mr bit there we go and then we'll add some turquoise for his tie i'm just, I'm just going straight in with this Have 
you got a favorite? Have you tell me if you've got a favorite one of these? I'd be interested to know which is your favorite image. So all I'm doing is I'm just building up that side look just to give it a little bit of shading. There you go. About that look. And then the jacket. The jacket is going to be a rusty colour. <laughs> Scroll down. <coughs> a man bun. Mind you, man, yeah, rounder and shorter, Trudy, you're absolutely right. <laughs> and with a waistcoat, yeah, most disappointed we haven't got one with a waistcoat. But next time, right, so we're going to do the rusty colour for his, for his jacket with these two. Remember, don't number your pens just yet because I am working on doing something for you when we get to set four. So I'm just going to, I'm going to be really quick with this. So apologies, everybody. So I'm going in with a base colour all over. And I'm going to assume that's his jacket, not his shirt. So pretend it's his jacket. <laughs> I think it is his shirt. There we go, just working my way around. Sorry, I told you I go quiet when I'm colouring in. So we've got that base, that base layer of colour down there. And then we'll go in for the stronger, the stronger one. I will re I will look back at your comments and see see if there's any questions I need to answer. Right, bear with, bear with. So I'm just adding the shading look, and I'm not worrying about it being too detailed. It really doesn't matter. How many, how many, I'm going to ask you now, how many times have you struggled for a stamp for a man's card? We all have. And I know when Scott was on last night, he was saying he always got fishing rods and stuff like that, that nobody actually, I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever been fishing in my life. So I've, I've now added the shading look, and I'm going to go back in with the first colour, which is the camely looking colour. And I'm just going to blend the two colours together. Now, whoever wins these two images, don't send me any photos. Because <laughs> this is this is quick work. These are originals. <laughs> oh dear. And then I'm just going to quickly, 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 still go in with the lighter colour. And I know that the jacket will be darker here. So I'm just making that darker on the inside, a little bit darker on his lapel, the joins, the crease of the shoulders. And And you have to do that while it's still wet. So if you do that while it's still wet, can you see that it's it's just bleeding itself out already? Have a quick look at where we're at. It looks it looks cool, doesn't it? Right. So quickly, let's go on to the shirt because I want to show you the background. Uh, not the shirt, the shoes. So in set two, let me just get this. I'm trying to get these while I can't hold them. You've got this lovely maroony colour. Which is like a, it's like a ready brown, but it's not brown enough for me. You can't tell it does look really dark brown on there, but it's not. It's like a maroon, so it's not brown enough for me for the shoes. So I'm going to use a little bit of that, a little bit of the dark rusty colour, 
bring them together and then hopefully what we've got is a nice dark brown there you go so we've got a nice dark brown color there all to the shoes i'll just color the whole thing i'll shade it after and obviously he's on my team so you know his belt's going to match his shoes <laughs> And then we'll just add a little bit of shaded. I'm dreading, I'm dreading looking at these comments after. There we go. Right, so uh, I'll do his hair the same colour, just to be a bit quick. Now, there's not much hair for me to worry about there, so I don't need to worry about shading and anything on that. What I did do on the original ones is... Um, I went in with just the base colour and then just, just go in. Look, so now it looks like we've got two or three, like my hair, two or three different shades of the same colour. Uh, and then I've just got the skin to do, and then we can put this card together. Looks fab, doesn't it? Uh, so the skin. So again, back to the yellowy colour, back to the pale camely colour. Remember to test it before you put it on your card because it, yeah, it's too strong. That's too strong. That's about perfect. Perfect. You don't need to worry too much about shading on this because there's not actually a lot of area for you to worry about. So remember, there's no proper skin tones in this, so that's clearly too dark. Just cut it off. Look at this, it's like a Leone tissue. And then as soon as you blot it off, look, it just gives you a little shadow. Right, I'm going to stop there. I'm saying Julia texts me, but I don't know where I put my phone. I thought it was at the side, didn't it? Oh, it is, it's here. Ten to, right. I'm obviously not gonna have a chance to finish these. Uh, do you want me to come do you want me to come back at one o'clock after the show and finish these off? Because I just want to show you how to ground these. I might come back for 10 minutes after the after the 12 o'clock show and show you how to do the background for him and we'll finish it off. So in set two, you've got this lovely gray shade. And I'm just gonna do a very, very pale shadow. Mm, yeah, perfect. So just a little bit underneath there, a little bit underneath there. And then I'll go around this side. The beauty of watercolouring is it dries softer than it looks. So what we've done now is we've done what they call grounded him. And just made it look like he's actually walking. Can you say, oops, where are you going, Phil? How about that? That's just fab. So what we'll do is, I think I've got time to do the background. So let's just do the background with him because I want you to see the wonderful weave. No, I'm going to do wool in it. We're going to do wool in it with this one. Do, 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 if I can find them. Because I'm too ambitious doing two demos. Oh, because all your comments and oh, all do a Facebook Live when I'm a bit better. Sounds like Mutti, but I'll oh, bless you. Right. So we're going to go in with the um, faded jeans distress oxide. Wool in it is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It looks fab on your flowers as well when you overstamp on your flowers. So what I'm doing is I'm not being neat at all. I'm going to try and do the same thing I did with the other one. 
and just try and make sure it's some somewhat straight. I'm going to be really quick with this. Leave that corner. I can hear Rufus, I think he's coming up. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just working my way around. And again, leaving the last corner for the end. And because I want this watery, instead of instead of doing what we did on the first one where we dipped it in the water, this time we're going to take a wet tissue or a wipe, not this one because it's got pink on it. So this is one of these water wipes I was telling you about. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on the mat. And this is, you know, I don't like to get dirty. So I'm not squeezing this because it is quite wet, but I'm just going to dab it in the dab it in the uh, faded jeans oxide, and I'm literally just going to pat around the edge. So you know where these little gaps are, look. And how easy is that? <laughs> That's just so easy. So what we've done now is we we watered the image without covering it with loads of water. Just put a bit more there. Yeah, let me show you that. Look at that. That looks fab, doesn't it? Yeah. So right, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to come back after the one after the twelve o'clock show. So if you come back about about one o'clock, I will finish these two uh, cards off for you. Because otherwise, you're going to miss the show on Ho Chanda, and I don't want you to miss Julia's demos because she'll kill me. <laughs> she spent a lot of time doing them. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. That's enough. That's three weeks in a row you've had me on a Friday. How about that? Um, so come come back about one o'clock. I'll finish these off just to show you how to layer them up and what have you. I've still got a little bit of bling to do on the Dreamy Elegance. Uh, make sure you go to Ho Chanda now. Make yourself a quick cuppa and watch the show at 12. Uh, and I'll see you about one o'clock, probably a, a couple of minutes after one o'clock. See you later.